Welcome to What I Did Last Summer, a series of conversations with Rudman Center Fellows about their summer fellowships and what their work meant to them. I'm Laura Canoy, Director of Community Engagement here at the Rudman Center, and I'm sitting down right now with Taylor Fitty. And Taylor, welcome. It's good to have you. Thank you. Good to be here. So please tell us where you're from and what year you are in law school. I'm a 2L here, and I'm from Exeter, New Hampshire, so right over by the seacoast, so not too far. And how did you come to choose um, UNH? Franklin Pierce School of Law. I love New Hampshire. I definitely was interested in staying somewhat local, whether that was Boston, New Hampshire. And when I came to Admitted Students Day, I really liked hearing from the professors, from the students, um, and I was interested in the Daniel Webster Scholars Program as well. Oh, that's great. So tell us where your fellowship was and what kind of services that organization provided. I worked with the New Hampshire School Boards Association, or NHSBA, and it's a private nonprofit that they provide policies and legal assistance to the school boards across the state. So, it, all sorts of things from answering questions from the school board members to providing trainings um, and then finding new administrators as well for school districts. Wow, what kind of legal help did the school boards need? Largely it was policy writing. There's tons of legal compliance that schools need to follow and so it largely was either taking the new bills that the New Hampshire legislature um, had passed that cycle and providing the schools with an update of what those bills meant to them as well as writing a whole new set of policies or editing policies in order to stay in compliance. Oh that's really interesting. So what was your job specifically? So starting out in the summer, we did a lot with the legislature um, in trying to write about their um, bills, providing updates to our school board members. So I participated in creating a publication that gave an update, the legal impact of all of the bills that related to education, and then we sent that out to all the members. So that was great um, to have my name included on that. And then my major project was I wrote over 40 policies to be sent out in the NHSBA's annual policy publication to the school districts. So that was everything from writing a new policy on dress code to distance, edu edu distance education um, and all sorts of things. So That's very high level stuff. Yeah, it was great. It was yeah. nice to really get into lots of research about education law has a really wide variety of topics that it covers so I really got to have a little bit of every single part of that I feel which was excellent. Can you describe an instance for us Taylor please of a time where your work specifically helped someone or someone some organization um, or where your presence allowed that organization to further its mission to do it better because of your help? Yes, it was great being able to hear from the school board members that found a policy helpful or they would email in with questions about legal compliance that I would do lots of research on. So it was great to be able to answer those questions for them. I'm a huge fan of public education and I'm glad to be able to help that in any way that I'm able to. And so even just hearing feedback from my supervisor and my coworkers that the publications were able to go out much sooner and much more smoothly with my help was really good feedback. Wow. So that kind of answers my next question, but I'll ask it anyway. Like, how do you think your fellowship helped the wider community here in New Hampshire? I think so, just helping those uh, school district members and school board members really do their job. Um, public education is so important, so to help these people that they're volunteering their time, they're not paid to be a school board member, so helping them in the best way that we're able really meant a lot to us. How did this summer's experience shape your own feelings about your law school education and the choices that you might make after law school? It definitely made me more passionate about education law, and I had such a great supervisor that worked with me so much over the summer and really improved not only my research and writing skills but allowed me to sit in on COSA meetings with other school law attorneys and he always allowed me to have a seat at the table and so I felt that was so important that now I have all of these networking connections and he's someone that I know I can rely on throughout my career. Is there anything else, Taylor, that you want to let us know about your experience this summer? Either someone you worked with or an issue or just a general sense that you got once the whole fellowship was done? I think my supervisor was just so incredibly helpful and I think through me putting in a lot of time and effort and showing I cared, he gave that back to me and so I think that if you're able to show that you care about the topic, then your supervisor is in turn going to care about you and your potential in the career going forward. Well, good luck. Thank that you. That sounds wonderful. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk of with course. us today. Thanks, Thanks Taylor. <laughs>